Actually, right now I'm 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 open for suggestions. If uh, anybody wants, if uh, uh, Pat, if there's anything that you would like to um, know, we can go over real quick. We don't. I don't mind. It's a good time to review if you want. If for any of all of us that are here, because right now I can tell you right now I'm going. I'm doing the same thing with my class, my Nikawi Community School class. That um, we're. I printed out a bunch of. Um, um, lessons that that we covered from the beginning of the school year till now. So we we're, we're reviewing a lot of our work that we've that that we've covered this school year with them. So if there's anything that you would like to um, uh, go over, we can um, we can we can do that. I'm open to suggestions. I don't have any. Okay. Amen. <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it's just uh, I'm just open, open, opening it up, just giving that a, just throwing the ball in the guys' court if there's anything that you'd like to, um, if there's anything that don't, that you would like to go over, maybe review, you know, that's, that, that's an option, um, you know, it's, 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 it's always good to go back and review things to keep it fresh in our heads, that way we don't forget a lot of things, because even myself, I was going over a lesson with a group, and I forgot even a simple word. Like, how do you say soup? I was like, oh, really? Soup? Of all time, soup. I remembered it by half, but almost done with class. Here's the word. Here's the word. I found it. I remembered it. But yeah, it was tough. I, I did think of one thing, if I could. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're trying to be very conscientious through our work uh, with the church all of Eastern Oregon to remind people that the beginning of any of their meetings to remember whose ancestral and sacred lands on which they're meeting. And I'm wondering if at some point we could go through the uh, Umatilla names, at least for some of the local uh, tribal groups, uh, so that it would be, I think, helpful or important for us to try to at least write out the uh, the names rather than just our English names. If so, at some point it would be really helpful to me if we could have those. Uh, the, the, the place names? Or... No, I'm sorry, the actual names. So what uh, if we're talking about the Umatilla people or the Cayuse people, what would be the uh, Umatilla names for those different groupings? So like if you refer to Umatilla, the name would be Ima, Ima, Ima Talam. If you refer to that's the actual name of the um, Ima, Ima, you say Ima Talam Slama. You can say that Ima Talam Slama. Or you can say Ima Talam Ma. You know, it's a really extended Ma on there. M and the M sound would be like like that. Ima telema. Either either way works. You know, ima telem slama would there's a lot there's a would be a more common use. You're referring to Umatilla people. Ima telem, ima telem slama. And uh, should there be an A between the M and the T? Is it ima? Oh yeah. Ima telem. Im, Im, yeah, sorry, Imma, yeah, Imma, Imma, tell them, Slamma. Yeah. I'm getting like Fred because Fred's class did, Fred did the same thing today in his class. He, he, he forgot, he was saying Kiksha, he forgot the X in there. So I had to correct him on that one. But uh, Kai, Kaius, Kaius. It's just like English, Kaius. It's spelled, you know, using our alphabet, it'd be the extended U Cayus. Um, so, like, even the, if you want to say the, like, Walla Walla people are actually a band of Walla Walla. Pretty. Or they even go by, um, Wa, Walula, Walula Pam. 
a lot of them they go by that name too walulapam and that's first um well so hold on so this one well, well, even this one would take the slamma also if you want well, well, slamma but then you also got walulapam and um as far as the net nest purse goes i really don't i really don't know what they prefer to be called um actually let me let's see if my let me see if my dad's um not not too busy right now i just got i just got out the phone with him we were go, we were going over um different terms i was going over with class today this what i was talking about going over like um talking terms to so tell us stories talking about going over like um, and then and then we went to you know, anaku anakutash wenana wenana no no portland yao no that, no things like that that all those little small piece bits and pieces that tie in and i'm not sure if christians here christian here no Kristen would be a good one to um, would uh, to talk to about that. What the Nest Purse called themselves with their with their, I mean, as far as a, a tribal name. Um, oh, there you go there. Um, Dad, real real quick question. Real quick question. We're going over um, um, tribal tribal identities. Names like uh -huh. uh, Imatalam and uh, Walulapam or Walla Walla uh -huh. What what do Nespers call themselves? What what is their what is their tribal identi identity name? Well, they call themselves today modern in this modern time. They call themselves Nimipu. Oh yeah, that's right. So, and then the old people back when I was growing up, they used they used the terminology Nurma N U U N M E N U U M E E P U P Nunmepo. Okay. People like us, and I don't know where that need me. Uh huh. Where that change? Where that change came in? But they were always, you know, it was just really, um, I think, Nun Mepo. Okay. We, we the people, you know. Okay. And then, um, then down in the south, the Numi people, the ones that uh, speak like a. Uh, the Chobans and Paiute. Yeah. They call themselves uh, Nomuvu. N U M U V U. Nomuvu. Yeah. N U M U V U. Uh huh. Nomuvu. That's the, what we call the um, Wakpushpal. Yeah. Okay, but that but that's the name that they call themselves, Nomuvu. Uh-huh. Okay. Then and then uh, the next person modern time, now they call themselves Nimipu. Okay. Old here they used to call uh old people used to refer to themselves as Nunma Nunmasu. Okay. And then Nimatalum, <clears throat> Walulapam. Then, uh, uh, Are you? Oh, that's the ad that was a why, 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 is it two eyes? Yeah, why, e, lat, who, uh, -huh. why, lat, who is a cayuse, okay. I, I, for Umatillum, Imatillum, 
I even used, I gave him uh, the term imatilam shlama. That worked too? Yeah. Yeah. And walla walla shlama. Walla walla shlama or uh, uh, walulapa. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wailat puz, a kayus. I even put the uh -huh. K A Y U U S also. Uh huh. Yeah. But yeah. that was from the French. Okay. Uh. Do you remember that cartoon that used to be on Kayo? Yeah. It used to be on OPV Kayo? Yeah. That's where that Kayus came from. The Jean de Kayo, the people of the rock. Oh. Huh. Interesting. A little round kid that was on TV. Yeah. Okay. And do we know at all what the Shoshone Bannock names would be? Do you, Dad, do you remember the Shoban names? Or just the uh, Namubu? Namubu. Then there's all these different bands with like, um, uh, Whatever Adika is always at the end of the word. That's um, uh, like um, uh, whatever they ate. They were such and such eaters. And then um, the suffix is Dika. So if they were fish eaters, and they would have, they would say the name of the fish that they ate, but there's Dika at the end of it. Is that a be a D? Yeah, D I K A. That be at the end. Uh -huh. Blank Dika. Okay, so I'll be like that. Oops. Because that one root that almost looks like house, but it's a, it really looks like house, but it's not house. It's got those layers on the side. That's called a Honda boy. And if there was a group of them that was, you know, that was their main thing that they would call a hundred boys you got. Hmm. So this is this is mainly refers to the show band, right? Yeah, whatever they are, yeah. The Paiute people, all the different bands. No, Paiutes also. That's how they refer. To. Yeah. Hmm. They're all numic numic species that we don't even. You know, I just spell Paiute. Oops. E A I U T E. Okay, yeah, it looks that looks that looks that looks, good. looks familiar to me. Okay. And they they do use that tikka at the end, whatever the whatever whatever they're familiar with eating, more accustomed to eating. Mm -hmm. Like for I mean, if they use if they found out you know like was, they have a word for you know salmon. Our people would be like, you know, whatever their word is for salmon, dika, right? For us? Yeah. Yeah. So they kind of put in that, no dika. Oh, yeah, that would be hybridizing it, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a hybrid version, guys. I'm, I'm just putting our words in the, and the show band's words in, <laughs> with it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, just make sure. I understood this. So Nimipu, Numepu, Numuvu, and Dika are all their names for themselves, but Imatalam, Kayus, Wailatpu, and the two for Walla Walla, are those Umatilla names? Or yeah. say they are? Um, Walulapam is uh, Walulapam. Uh, Walla Walla, Walla Walla Shama is from. Okay. So Walulapam was actually what they what they call themselves. Uh, okay. Let me make a note. And Wailitpu is, is the name that they call themselves. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. And um, you might run into someone from. Um, now the different band, there are different bands of Yakimas too. I'm not sure what the even the um, up up north country though, in the the northern parts of the states, uh, North Washington, Idaho, they're um, Salish. They got their own names and 
I don't know how to pronounce their name. They're really tough words to say for myself. But we're referring to like people down on this area, you know, Imatelam or Imatelam Sama, Wailetpu, Walulapam, Nunmapu, Namuvu. Um, Yakima is a big debate, and they're always they're fighting around on what what's right, and what's wrong. You know, we got the we got the outside people that you know, kind of say the river Yakimas don't don't get along with the valley Yakimas. So it's <laughs> on the na on the proper name, you know, not the the ones that were that weren't in the valley. They call the ones in the valley Iyakma. And that's that's uh, referring to the ones that were pregnant, pregnant ones. Iyai, so they're Iyakma. And the ones that were trying to, you know, are, that, that try to, that are keeping, trying to restore some pride in the name, they call them Yakama. The black bears, place of the black bears, Yaka. And that, there's, was there another name too, wasn't there? Like the third name, Dan, that they used. So, so. Uh, yeah, then, then here's that, then they call themselves, but they're starting to call themselves, except that Mama Chat. Oh yeah, they got them. And there's some, there's some there in the valley that call themselves Mama Chat. I don't know what the, what's, what's the big pride in Mama Chat. No. And, uh, and the translation to that is um, coward. So a lot of them were, uh, you know, I'd say a lot of a lot of the youngsters of the I say the mid mid to late nineties till now, some of them are don't understand the language and they're just using it. it sounds cool, but actually it's not cool. So a lot of them will go down. What what mumba chut? I was like, yeah. like okay, that's more power to you. <laughs> All right, um, you guys heading out now. All right, Dan. Well, you take care. You be safe. Yeah. yeah. He out. So he's out. He's out now. So yeah. So that's um, you know, to be, you know, safe. I don't Yakama, or they say Yakama. But if they know their um their bands or where they're where they're from. Um, I can't really remember all the different names. I just know I just know mine. Where where I'm, what part, what band I'm from of the Yakimas is um, uh, the uh, oops, the Kmish. Kmish is that that's that's the band I'm from. No, uh, that's where I was. That's where I grew up in that area, Kmish in Goldendale. By about 20 miles from there, 20, 30 miles from there, Kmish. That's uh, the Rock Creek area. It's the, that's one of one of 14, one of 14 bands um, I'm from. There's other ones. They're, um, they're uh, Wenatchees. Um, I can't, I think some some of the Palouse, some of the Palouse, Palouse were there. Um, I I it's been a long time since I read the the treaty and who's all documented in the the bands that are the tribes that are are under the Yakima Yakima uh, tri, Yakima treaty. It's been years. I need to brush up on that. But if you ever run into someone from Salilo, their name is Wayam in that area for the along the rivers between the between the Dalles and Beaks area, Wayam. So that they refer a lot of them they use the pum at the end. You know, the, the pum refers to that that those people. Wayam Pum. Even the the Priest Rapids people up there, they call them, although we are all 
these people, but they they take their that name Waya Wanapam. It's um, a name. They're they're, they're still they're, their people are still right along are, are right there at the river. You got to cross the dam to get to their little village there. Wanapam, Priest Rapids. <clears throat> So there's a one of them. There's, you know, even even with um, uh, imatellum, you could even put that in there too. It's a pum, also. Um, you can put it in there like that. Also, imatellum pum. And uh, wailetpu and uh, nunmetpu are the let's say like their languages. Languages are really close, so that's why they got that. Pool. It's it's just like our it's just like pump for us. So why it pool? So if we're, if we're, if we were to make it you know into like a Yumatilla word, it'd be why it pump or noon me pump, ni me pump. That's how that this, that's how that would work. But the pool in their language is is uh, equivalent to pump in ours. And, um, I'm not sure if there's any, any, anybody else in our in our in our area that that um because even in our growing up myself as uh, given the history of of the um the Paiutes and the Shobans with our people. They were our enemies, actually, to our people over here. At one time, the show bands did help in a war. They helped out in a war where this where this building stands right now, the new building. This this is the battlefield of that war. Where this where Nikhawi school uh, sits. And this whole education of not just here the school, but Yellow Hawk and, uh, um, and the government building. This this whole flat area was the was a battleground. That's where a big war happened, and the people rode in from the south off the hill, fighting, and the show bands were off off to the let's say southeast looking on. So it was, you no. Know, but um, our people. Call them this name. Wahpushpal. It's kind of a um, let's say in in how it would be now be like a really derogatory term. Wahpushpal. Given that there were the stories that we have for them in our past. That they're really they're really poor people. They weren't didn't have much. You know, they kind of really I don't know what to compare them to. But um, you know, that's why they would always come. They're all, always at war because they're up here trying to steal our food and horses, and even even ladies. Well, what that referred to is that that Wach Bush is the name of the rattlesnake. So they were considered rattlesnake people, rattlesnake eaters. You know, because that's they live in an area where the rattlesnakes are abundant. But that was um that was a name that that was that they were called by a lot of our people, a lot of our elders of the past. Wach Bushpal. Given that that's you know their area, and it's and you know it'd be nice to know what the even more what they um, refer to themselves as. That way, kind of almost like bury the hatchet on the past wars. What is that? What's that, that considered um, historical trauma? Um, let let that all go. 
but um, it's good to know that uh, some but so it's some words that were used to call those people. You know, why? Why? What was the purpose? Why? Why was it that way? <clears throat> Um, even um, the even like the Umatillas and Nez Perce, they have their own little, you know, terms for each other. The Lachayu and what was that? What's the other one? Lachayu and uh, I just had just had it in my head too. But yeah, they're they're. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not like, you know, common greetings to each other. It's like actually really degrading. <laughs> but that's, I think that's, um, as far as, you no know, people in their areas, these are um, in this, in this area or what they, a lot of them identify with. I'm not sure if um, anybody even goes by this name anymore. Palus. I don't know. They're really, that, that, that band of people really got relocated three times, uh, three, three different different places and they were they used to be along the um, along the Snake River and I can't remember the exact location but um, in the time of the, 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 the treaty signing they got split up in, in threes uh, some got moved up to Colville and some got moved here with the to be put in with the Walla Walla band and uh, some got moved to Yakima. So there are actually families got, got, that got split up. A whole, a whole, a whole tribal community got split, split three ways. The Palouse, I got, I, I think if my, if my memory serves, that's where actually my, a lot of my family is from, the, my Totus family was, came from was that Palouse band. Is, uh, some of the names that my um, that come, my uncle and my cousin carry come from that 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 band, those people, Palouse or Palouse names. Like, oh, okay. So that's where a lot of our history goes back to is those that that bloodline. I I have to break in for a minute if I could. I yeah. I need to I need to share since you, knowing that you're you have lineage back to the Totas families. My uh, my first wife was Yakima, mm -hmm. and my children are, of course, then of that lineage. And so that you are related to them because they were someplace back. They remembered that they were part of the Totas family. So your my kids are related to you. Oh, cool! Yeah, um, my um, my my father, my real, my biological father is uh, Wilson Totas. And uh, uh, his, my grandpa was a Raymond Totis. And uh, my grandmother, his wife, was, uh, was Helen Totis. So, yeah, I'm, uh, that's, my, um, blood, that's my blood family, the Totis. That's, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Good. Yeah, so, yeah, that's... Um, yeah, my dad, uh, Thomas uh, Morning Owl, he's been in my life since I was in um, first grade. So, you no, know, it was it's no, I got nothing against, you know, my Totus family. So, um, he was a big part in my life, my dad, Thomas. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where, where I am right now. Without the influence with, of um, him being there, I probably would have been off running wild somewhere. But um, <clears throat> he kept a lot of this, a lot of this uh, information with me. And constantly telling us, you know, about different things, and and most of the time we're like, oh, here's dad and his stories about people again. Like, oh, here we go. So a lot of times they went one in one ear and not the other. So, but some of these things did stick. Did stick though. A lot of these things did stick. You know. And um, 
yeah, it's the, the even with the whole the whole Yakima story is like, yeah, it was a big problem with with people, and that's not what we're called. And it's like, well, that's I don't know, that's what what happened. We called them that because they're in the it was the time of the Fort Simcoe, and uh, those ones that um, surrendered to the people, those the, the government went to Fort Simcoe. They were the ones that were actually being called Mama Chats. Because they're the ones that surrendered, they they cowered, they cowered to the to the fort, <clears throat> and um, and a lot of and a lot of a lot of women were there. Those in the time, it's, I think it was they're they're like kind of breeding them out. So a lot of a lot of the women were pregnant. So that's where the yakma came out. Oh, always pregnant. Those people are always pregnant. So yeah, so, that's, so that story is the the. Kind of bad in the history of the Yakimas. Kind of bad. Uh, trying to uh, Yakima is um, place uh, place of the black bears. And the trying to you know turn a um, turn a negative into a positive. <clears throat> but there, but uh, there is not really a tribe in there that, that I know of that is Yakima. Out of out of that, out of the fourteen that make up the um, the tribal government itself, fourteen bands and tribes. Not one of, not one of them is actually a Yakima. They're all the different. What are their their different names that are that are, that are underneath it? <clears throat> I thought that was interesting myself when I was going through that. Um, because uh, my dad reads a lot of the Umatilla, uh, reads the 1855 treaty minutes a lot. And he'd read them to me and uh, find out that, about different things that, um, you know, different people actually weren't there at the signing. And given the time of year, why they weren't there is the time of the you know, food gathering. So a lot of them were either fishing or digging. You know, they weren't. They're worried about any treaties or some a lot of the families are like we, we got we got prime we got prime picks of the of the root that the root fields now everyone's over there worried about treaties we're gonna go get our food before that gets all taken away like, oh, that's smart thinking in one sense is that helpful there pat very much so thank you very very much yeah, so this is um, for, as far as the, my as far as my knowledge goes uh, on on pe people's names, what they call, what they identify with themselves, Imatelampam, Imatelam Shlama, Imatelama, you know, whichever one you, or you can Wailitpu, Walulapam. You can use that's person either Nimipu or Nunmepu. Uh, the Nimipu is pretty pretty. Um, Recent, you know, it's pretty, pretty new. Noon Mepu is probably the more um, traditional back from years back. A lot of the elders that identified with that, they use my, how my dad said it, used to use themselves to use that, use that word for themselves. Noon Mepu. And you got the, 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 the Paiutes mainly, I think it was Paiutes mainly, the Namuvu. No move. Yeah, Yakima. Uh, black bears, pretty much what, it's, what, it, what that translates to. Yaka, Yaka being black bear. The ma referring to the um, um, plural. Yakima. I put, I've done that. My That's my band there. Kmish. That's, that's who I, I, where I identify with. Where my family comes from, the Kmish, so I'll be Kmish bum myself. I think Annie too, Annie, I think Annie's part of that, part of that little line there, Kmish bum. And you got Slilo, they call themselves Wayam, Wayam bum. Uh, Wanapam is um, the Priest Rapids people. It's, they're up there in the uh, by uh, Madawa, about northwest of Tri Cities. They call themselves Manapam and Palouse. 
you know, that's to the east. That's you even got a that, that Palouse Falls over there. Any more questions? Any questions? Any more questions? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll save this. Yeah, I had a question just about a bird name. I accidentally sent a link I meant to send you now a couple minutes ago. But I was wondering if you knew a bird name, Khali Khali. Yeah, I've, 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 I've I seen that in a khali khali. So I remember the last time we met, you'd said khali khali yai for tiger because of the stripes. Yeah. I was wondering if something similar was going on with this name because the bird yeah. had some stripes on its tail. Yeah, the rin. Mm -hmm. The canyon rin. Yeah, and I think that's what it referred to was that uh, stripes. And um, and that, that's where we, the, the ya in there refer, makes it, so uh, make it a whole different animal. I mean, I mean, striped, we can, you know, stripes, if, if we, if we want to, I'm going by the dictionary and how it's spelled. They use the uh, hard eye. Hilly, hilly. Not hilly, hilly, but hilly, hilly. The bard eye. And that's where the tiger would come in. Hilly, hilly. -ya. The animal that the, the canyon wren uses the and I'm sorry if I if, uh, in, uh, gave you in the notes that I used the A. It's just, you know, hilly, hilly. It's, or I think even in here, in the other other thing for stripe, they got Hali for striped. But the hilly, hilly, I, I, we talked about it and that's, we use it, it's, I think like um, Khali or Khali, so I refer to like one streak and uh, like um, Khali, Khali would be like many, many stripes, almost like mice, mice every day. It's all, it's, it's, you know, all context. What? What I was discussing with my dad just before we, just before I logged on, so I was hoping that he was he would be in here for this, and I have, he's got other things going on. I was like, okay, well maybe next time. Is that the um, in the dictionary? Uh, we were going over pages. Um, 12 through 18, those uh, second positionals and um, oblique nominal cases, down decisions, nominal cases, nominal, whatever, whatever those nominals anyway, those, those, all those fancy terms for in linguistics, you know, but um, what I was going, I was telling, tell, help trying to, trying to make sense of a lesson I sat in with, um, um, with Fred, you know, so that, that, you know, when we, when we want to talk about something, you know, when we tell stories, like, um, we start off, well, you know, like, um, whoops. So if I was to like tell a story of what I did yesterday, so, with Tim, with Tim now, when then, um, um, golf, is that O A R S E? Is that, is that golf course? Is that I spell course? Golf course? O U R. Oh, is it O U R? Yeah. 
think it's uh, that's the light. Something okay. feels coarse. Yeah. Of course, y'all. So yeah, so that's just a basic, you know, I went yesterday. We went yesterday, we went, so I thought the the na in here refers to we. What Tim na winana. Yesterday we went to the golf course. And that's just a place, you know, basic, you know, thing of, you know, what'd you do yesterday? And if that's all you're gonna say, what no, like winana. Golf course, yeah, that's, and that's it. But if you want to like go on further in your story, that's, and this is where we're um, like a lot of the, even the students want to get to about when you're talking about, you know, what else did you do? Or they want to add on to make it flow, to make the link, instead of just saying the whole thing, Ku winana, ku ku this no. Although they, a lot of people do talk that way, but to make it more, and there's anakutash, and then we. No, it's not inclusive to here there, but it's inclusive to it's. Talking, they're talking about their their story that what they did on the kudash and then we went to wherever you know the on the, the this this part here because given the examples in the book in in the dictionary here on page 16 they like got all these different fancy terms in here like what's describing the the um the uh the sentence you know, intransitive, you know, active, transitive, inverse, ergative, accusative, you know, all, all these, all these terms, I really don't understand what they mean, but, um, like, here's the, like, it's for complex sen sentences. Here's the first example. Anashin awacha naimu. Whoever was your relative. Was a relative. Whoever was a relative. Anashin was like whoever. You know, it's all, all these different terms, all these different things that we've gone through and all these, you know, well, how do we, how do we go, how do we go about this? How do we go about, you know? I mean, even going to say, just saying, saying it like this. What Tim Winana golf course, yeah, Kudash Winana, and we went. No, those, these types of things is what um, I want to actually would like to uh, tap into. That way, when we like tell stories with each other, you know, like, what'd you do over the weekend? You know, or what'd you do yesterday? What'd you do last week? You know, where'd you go? You know, things like that. If you would tell stories, you know, all these little additions, you know, that go that go into these into these, um, into this and what, um, you know, just a little sample, what we, what, you know, like my students, they were talking about it. And, uh, I've heard this question before, or not this phrase, Anashinnam Asinuyawa Nash. Like they were, they, whoever was talking about me. No, it's just, he was telling me, you can go, you can go off on a whole thing like that. So, yes, and, that, that, and this is where the, I don't, I, can you guys see my mouse move around? That this part here, the uh, this little part here, the asinuyawa, it's a whole thing that I really, I, I don't know how to explain it, how it works, but I understand it, what it means. 
and uh, they say, well, how, how do you, that's, that's where a lot of the students will uh, get to me. So how can you not explain it if you understand the language? It's a whole different idea. But you no, know, this, this phrase makes sense. Anashinam asinriyama nash. No, they, they were talking about me. And it's taking the same, taking the same phrase on the shin mm, nash ow sin yawa shana. Same sentence, but um, I say more formal that the nash has been put back in front rather than placed over here at the end and this this owl that you see here it's not there it's almost like it's like a you call you call that remote remote type of thing setting uh, i don't know it's, you can explain a lot better than i can so this, so the top one's more of a compounded form, and the bottom one's a more formal thing. It's just he's trying to was trying to get me. I was trying to get to the point of how do we get to, you know, this this type this type of conversation. What what Timna Winana golf course shall Kutash Winana. Then we went to those these types of things. That you no, know, that help us talk. You know, we 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 can go through a phrase like that. You know, um, you can we can go off and say, "Win na, win na na na." No, we went. The last na on there refers to we. No, I I see. I'm not just referring to. All of us here, you know, myself, John, and Pat. Winana, uh, winana, that's us. But if I want to say talking about, you know, just, you know, me and my family, that's where this comes in. It's us, but not you. And um. And this and this word here, this ending, oops, dang it. This ending not the spring breaks down just like nush. Breaks down, it drops, you drop the A and you drop the N A and just leave dush. That's and I I have I when I was learning about this. I forgot. All, I keep on forgetting all about it, because that it's you know it's us, but not you. So I kind of look at it like a little like a little kid bragging around about things that we did and you didn't. I'm like na 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 na. And so you take off the na. But matash does not follow this same this same pattern. Matash, it's it stays whole. This natash can break down just like nush, I. So this natash, like when uh, not when na uh, na natash is we went, but not you. And that can break down to when na na when na natash. Where it breaks down from from natash and go to Atash. Then I think of the last part that breaks down is dash. So when you're talking to if it's if it's your your crew, your group that did something, that's where you use this term where it's not you don't use the na we because you use na, you, na you're including everyone that you're telling the story to. When they weren't there, so it's it's more 
appropriate to use the natash or dash, atash. When 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 uh, natash, Portland, yeah, we went we went to we went to Portland. Kutash, and we kutash uh, wenana Saturday market, yeah, when we went to the Saturday market. So this this term here, you no, know, it's it started out as a it's like up here. It's, it started out as, a, as something being like holy, how how do we get to that? So now I just, you know, simple terms that when we want to talk about we we went that's as a and I say Patrick wants to tell a story about things that him and his crew did. He would use, you know, not the sh. And same with John. Him and his him and his crew went somewhere did something and. and not us, he's telling the story about the things they did. It'd be them using this term, nadash, adash, or dash. You know, <clears throat> how, how that's used. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, okay. And I, I need to include that with, with, uh, with, with this. You know, my students uh, turned, have been turning in makeup work. And I've been giving out these lessons from the from the packets, from the book, and I'm finding out some things that you know they they want to jump the gun, they want to get into it, but then um, they're not ready. But then, but then again, you know these things here, these little endings, as I said, suffixes are actually. Uh, very important to everyday speak when they're taught, telling stories. It's, it's just, it's no different from nush, I, num, you. You know, these, these, I think these all tie in as being important to, you know, everyday talk. See, even up here, as I, I even got it, I even got it wrong. It shouldn't, I shouldn't be nah up there. What dim natash? What dim natash? Winana golf course yah kutash winana. See right the uh, first na there. I included you, John. I could Pat. Then you're like, no, we didn't go. You went. And I and I got it right on the second part. So see, it's. That's how that. That's how that works. That's, that's um things I'm, I'm forgetting to add in. You know, I'm, I'm getting forgetful myself on these important pieces in there. Well, have you but, noticed other people using "na" uh, for both of these contexts? Um, I don't remember if you were there, but if. At least a month ago, I know we were asking some questions about this in one of the textbook writing meetings. Um, I think I might have missed that meeting. I bring it up because I, I vaguely remember Fred not doing it, so we scrapped it. Don't quote me on that. That's yeah. what I think happened. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it now. I'm giving it now that um, that this this one here is. Um, how how is it described here? Um, how they say it here in the in the book how how it's, how it's uh, the pronominals how it's described as a first person exclusive. Yeah, or, I was like, oh, okay. And the other would be the inclusive. Yeah, that's the na. That's where the the whole we. So if I was to say that if I was. If I was like let's say we all went somewhere. That's where that what dim what dimna winana golf course yah kudna winana. No, kind of like just remembering us, remembering a time that we here. No, me, you, and Patrick. You know, we we, we went somewhere. We're telling. But if I'm telling a story about things I did with my with my with my friends and not you guys, and that's where the not that should come in. Or what dim what dim dash what dim not dash when I'm a golf course yah could dash when I'm a um um hole eighteen. You know, we we jumped the gun. We we skipped all the 
all the other 17 and it went right to the right for the kill. We got it. <laughs> those, those, those types of things. I don't know. It's, I don't understand golf. And I'm, I'm just, I'm bringing that up because I had to go to the golf course yesterday. You know, my, my, my daughter's trying out golf this year, school golf. I was like, all right. She's, she's, she's not going with softball this year. Kind of a shock. That was, I was all hype. I was starting to look up things for softball, you know, getting her a new glove, getting her new bat, some new cleats. So I'm going to try golf. Like, okay, never mind. Scrap that idea. Okay, I guess I guess we can go walk around the golf course, I guess. Let's give it a shot. But yeah, so that's that's that, that's what golf course was in my mind. So getting um, on the on the topic of using this we I don't know that number. The um the we part, no, the no, it's us, it's us, we, not you. We went this way. We went that way. Um, like this, even doing things, you know, the whole, like, what do we do in a day? You know? Like, um, just using, you can say it like this. Could, could not the sh Um, Like, um, where, are you, where are you working at right now, Patrick? Working on, in terms of what? Uh, where, where, like, where, location, where are you at right now? The place. Oh, I'm in, I'm in Cove at Ascension oh, Cove. School. Okay. Watch, watching Bobby plant a few thousand trees. Okay. Yeah. Could, could not the Cove box. So we're, we're working. So you, you'd, you'd say this now. Could, could not the Cove Kofpa. Now we're working at Cove. Um, let's say Kinu. Oops. Kin, kinu. Shash. Bobby. I think this is what it is. Bobby Nim. I want to say plant. Can't, I can't remember the word for plant. I'm watching Bobby. Kinu Kinu Shash Bobby Nim. Um. Look, there's got to there's got to be a word for it. Plant something. The plant trees. Like, I. Tom. Tom Tomanich Tomanich Kinu Kinu Shash Babinim Tom Tom uh, Oops Hang on tight Tomanich Nich Nich Sha But that no so could could na could could not the shkofpa kinu kinu shash babinem tamanitsha patatna. Well, we're working at Cove. I'm watching Bobby, you know, plant, planting planting trees, planting the trees actually would be. You no, know, um, I'm not sure if um, what kind of is there a specific tree he's planting. Um. No, there's a whole variety of trees whole and shrubs variety. that they're whole, putting whole in for that. Yeah. Okay. All, nat all natives. Okay. Yeah. It's, no, all, all different types of trees. It's, what that na? Planting the tr the na in there, we refer, you're saying that the trees. The na. Okay, I'm going to fix this so I don't get in trouble. Fix that. But that, but that, you know, it's a long A in a dictionary, but I know it's the same. Myself, you know, I, I, it sounds like I'm saying like that, but that, a little, little short, fast. 
dictionary has it two ways. But that, but I don't know. You learn you learn from how you hear it said. So I heard it, but that. No, I hear but that tree. But um, everything, everything that we do, everything as far as speaking wise, I've uh, that's that's how I've learned to understand was all our everyday life, especially speaking, revolves around verbs. Everything that we do in that everyday life. Now, what what do we what do we do when you, what's the first thing we do every day? You know, we wake up. We, what else do we do? We, we take a shower, we, we eat breakfast, we, we go to work, you know. What's, what's the, what's the, what, what's, what's the verb in that? The word is go. <laughs> now, win, winna, winna is to go. Winna shash, kut kut yao. Well, I'm going to work. Um, and what else do you do at work? I work, kut kut shash, I work. Now, what else do you do? I write, timma. So there's, there's a lot of things that we do in the day that even students to this day are, have a hard time identifying actually what a verb is. Well, what is a verb? It's, a, it's an action. What are the things that you do in a day? You know, like even, to this, even to the beginning. Dakh, you know, now, if you're, uh, that word ends with the E sound, so it's the first thing you did in the day. So that would be, Dakhshiyash, I woke up. In the past tense, woke. Dakhshi is to wake up. So you're talking in the past, the, and the word Dakhshi ends with a E, a I, so you use the Y past tense, Ya. Dakhshiyash, I woke up. So what else? What after well, after you after you woke up? Then what you do? Right? I showered. So, um, uh, God, what's the word for shower? So um, when I knew is to bathe, it's different. Um, shower is another word. And I gave it too. I gave the word shower. <clears throat> So I asked about the word shower. But um, these things here is a good good way to, um, if someone's to ask you about uh, what would you do, what you all do today? You know, it's even, even in English, just list them out, the things, the things that you did. You know, as far as you know, action wise, you no, know, you woke up, you ate, or you showered, or you washed your face. You ate, you um, cleaned, tamanich, you know, planted, you know, planting, that's planting anything, you know, planting a garden, you know, tamanich, if, you're, if that's what you're doing, planting, tamanich. Um, I think if you're going to call, if you're going to say a garden, that'd be tamanicht with a T at the end. Tamanicht. would be that you turn an action into a noun, turn a verb into a noun with a T, T end, with a T ending on that. Tamanicht would be the garden itself. Like I say, um, pota uh, like tomato, tamanicht, my, my tomato garden. Um, latit, no flowers, latit tamanicht, my flower garden, like flowers, latit. You know, you name off what kind of, what kind of garden you, you have. You know, it's, but if you want to get, get back to the terms of, let's say that you're all, all working together, in the same place, say you're all in a dormed up. Dakhshitash. Now we woke up. We woke up this morning, we're all, you know, all, all a crew, all in the same building, like same dorm, same house, whatever. Dakhshitash. No. 
you wouldn't have to use yeah with that? Tachshitash? Actually, yeah, I think you know. Tachshitash. Yeah, Tachshitash. Tachshitash. We woke up. You can't key on that one. I think you can even go like that. Because that sound kind of does carry out. Tachshitash. Ah, Tachshitash. I, I'm pretty sure it would kind of be kind of tongue tying if you had the whole word. So, you know, you can just drop the end, just like um, you, you know, say, could, could, like you say, like if I'm working, you, you try to say, could, could, shanash, drop the end, could, could, shash. So, same with your, dakshiatash. No, we woke up. Then what else did you do? You know, going off, laming off a lot, a lot of different things that you did. Using that term, um, on the action, a lot of times on the action. You know, like, um, tum, 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 uh, Tamanich Natash. Tamanich We planted. Again, I keep on forgetting to. Tamanich Natash. Or you can just go like that. Uh, the the na right there would refer to the past tense. Tamanichnatash. We planted. The dash is, is is the breakdown of the the we, and the na in front refers to the past tense. Tamanichnatash. We planted. that we planted trees now there's now a lot of times we've gone well, i've mentioned this before that you know you don't have to put ma on there on some of the things to make it plural some of the words don't need to be added ma to it we know that it, we know that as, as you told the story you're you're not going to just no, not going to have a crew of 20 out there planting one tree so and trees don't just well, well, they do. And if you're trying to, um, you know, restore a whole whole forest, you're not going to plant just one tree. You're going to plant a bunch of them. So that's it. But that even itself would be a pearl in itself. But to bring back an old thing. But that, I think you can go 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 with, like, go with that just a p. But but that, but that would. Either way, myself, it's a p a or just a two p's, and that refers to many trees, you know, a lot of trees, but also different types of trees. It's not just one tree in general. There are different types of trees, but but that, like kakakya, if you say kakakya, you say that be kakya either mean, depending on how you use it, kakya can mean an animal or it can mean a bird. So how you use it, so when you say kakakya, say so you're talking, if you're, your story is talking about different birds you see flying around, that, that makes sense. Same, so you got kakakya being all kinds of different animals. So same with, but that is one tree, not not a tree, not just one tree you're talking about, but you know, just a tree. And you say, but but that it's many trees, many different types of trees. And you're talking about a willow tree, you're talking about an aspen, you're talking about a willow, you're talking about a pine tree, or you know, whatever type whatever type of tree it is that you because you're but um, 
Patrick and, and his crew are doing, they're planting trees. They're not just planting one specific tree, but all the different types. So that's Papatat. Tamanich, Tamanich Natash, Papatat. I think you need to be more familiar for formal, Papatat now. It just, it just, it, 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 they're, they're plant there. We, we, we planted a bunch of different trees. All kinds of trees. We planted all kinds of different trees in there. Tamanicht. So Tamanicht is goes on the, on the, what, what you're doing. The action itself. Tamanicht. So if I was to break this down here, so that's the um, the tense, and that's the breakdown from Natash. Tamanicht is the word for plant, plant. Tamanicht, planted, na, tamanicht, na. Then we, we planted. Or if you want to be talking in the now, oops. Tamanit Shatash, we are planting. Tamanit, tamanit Shatash, patat, papatat na, we are planting trees. That's something that you're doing right now. That shas a now. Am I getting confusing here? No, no, okay. I don't want to confuse anybody. <laughs> I don't want to like I'm confusing anybody. So, but the whole it's the whole um, thing of this Natash going going about. You no know, things that you're doing that. Using this term, natash, atash, or tash, and then go forward. That you're talking about things that you and your you and your family or you and your crew did. That you're telling us that you guys did. Use a na. Na would be inclusive. Would be including all of us. In the story that we were even there. Now that's the difference with na. No, is all of us, us, we. But the Natash is my could 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 Natash. Na Shna Nihawipa. Kutash. Um Tim Tim Timah Timah Nami Sinuit. So we work here at Nihawi and we also um, are all we're always writing, writing, writing down words, writing words. If that makes sense, if that made sense. So that was a that was a. There was a thing using the atash, the natash. Could, could natash, shna, here. Shna. Shna is here. Could, could. Or should, I, or should I just write it down? <laughs> or, oops. God dang. Could, could. Not the sh shna nihau. Could could not the shna nihau ipa. We work we work here at nihau. Could the sh and we also. Um,
timber. Could could not the standing hoipa, could the stimacha namisimit. And we also always write down words, our words. So this, this term here, Natash, was something I, I feel that needs to be done. That, and I mean, it, it goes on the lines of how my dad's, a, my dad's pet peeve on that. I understand it now when the people, when they talk about, you know, when they want to say, I love you all. You know, they say just Atawi Shamash. No, it's I love you. It's to one person. So it'd be like a Tawi Shamatash. That's I love you all. It's everybody. Tawish so it's like say like kin kinush kin kinu tamatash. Um kaikyao. Kinu tamatash. Kinuta. Kinu tamatash. I was I will see you all next week. The, the matash does not break down like natash. So let, let's say that um, John's not gonna be here and and I'm talking and let's let's say let's be like talking with somebody and like say the whole group's here, the whole big whole group's here today. Can you Kinu 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 tash kinu tatash kinu tatash kaikyao. Be like, well, we'll see. We'll we'll, see. we'll all be here, but you. Oh my god. If like, I gotta put the name in there too, that that way it knows who who we're talking about. Kinu kinu tatash, kaikyao, John. Like, like John's left out. No. <laughs> all all of us, but not you. If I think that's how that works, I think that's how it works. You need to not in that form, that world. You're not being included into, into not you. Just, just by naming you, you know who's who's been left out. Well, yeah, if it's a lot of the a lot of the terms that we use, a lot of the stories we talk about, all talks about going somewhere. You know, and it all depends on the when. A lot of times it's a past. Then it'd be win anatash. I don't know. Where? Where should, where, where, where should I go? Where shall me and my family go? Win anatash, we went. Let's say, um, at the at the Chu Xiao, That's the ocean. When the Natas at the Chusha, we went to the ocean. Um, let's say.
Ah, ah, même pas. Crotash. I'm not sure, maybe this might work. Put When a when when a a a kotash kotash vacha kastila kastilana. I'm thinking that's how that I think that's how it makes sense. We we went to the ocean in March and we also had crabs. Or if we want to uh, be specific, we can go. You can say it like that. Kutash kotan kastelana, and we eat eat the crabs. Or if you want to be, want to be really, you know, proper about it. Kutash kotana, kastilana. We ate the crabs, and we ate the crabs. Does that make sense? Wina natash ata chusha um a amempa kutash kwat kwatana kastilana. If you like, tongue tied with the na on there, two na's on there, you can say it like that Castilana or Castilla. Keeping it in a straight line might help. Yeah. When an ata chushiao a a mimpa kutash kwatana Castilla. It's the, it's just the simplest sentence I can come up with for this using that natash form. Something that's really, you know, it's it's it's, it's what we did actually on on spring break. That weekend, the last weekend in March, we went we went to um, Lincoln City. We went down to Newport, had crabs. We went actually went down that Thursday. I think it was that Thursday. We went down Thursday. Stopped. We came back Sunday. We, we stayed in Lincoln City for Thursday night and Friday night. Stayed in um, Beaverton on Saturday night. Came back Sunday. So yeah, this is just a little short story. And now now we get into understanding of see these, these little pieces here. I didn't realize that how I was doing this wrong. I was saying this wrong, that teaching it wrong, that I was saying winana. And I was being inclusive to everybody in that story, saying that everybody like in the class, if I was if I was to say win winna winna nana ata chushao a amempa kuna kwatana kastilana. That'd be that'd be like us three went to the went 
went to the ocean. I'm just uh, I'm gonna say but the, telling a memory, you know, like a story, telling a memory with us, us three here. So I'm like, remember when we went to the went to the ocean and had had eight crabs? But if I'm telling the story, like if I'm telling you guys what we did, that's where the natash comes in. When the natash at the chushiao a amempa kutash kwatana kastila. That makes sense. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? One piece squares. You got any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, so Kutesh is. Kutesh and would be and we. It'd be, you know, if you're telling me a story. Okay. It'd be like. You're talking about what you and your family did or what you and someone else did. Oh, okay, because the end is the coup and then Tush is the us. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. You can you can also you can all you don't you can you, yeah, you can even say kunatush also use the whole word. But it's up to you and what you want how you want to use it. You say kunatush or you say kutush. It may be the same thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's you'll be telling a story about what you and what you and your family did, or what you and someone else did. that's that's where the not dash comes in. That um, uh, it's quite 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 not dash. Um, uh, heyum te pinpa, kutash, kutash winana, um, big Johnson yao, no. If that makes sense, so we we went we went hunting up there at Indian Lake. Then we went to Big Johnson. Does that makes sense, Josh. It's, um, I know a lot, I know a lot of you guys go hunting up in that area, and, and it's a lot of people. Go up, I'm not sure where you go hunting. I'm just taking I'm just taking a guess, just throwing that out there. That uh, that's how that would work. That's what you'd be. That's how your story would tell you would tell to us. We would ask, you know, where where do you go hunting at? Where'd you go hunting? Could could nash or quite nash? Like, oh, where man man manpa manpa quite quite na. He is a quite na quite na tipinpa. I hunt. We hunted at um, Indian Lake. Then we went to you know, Big Johnson, oh, Little Johnson. And then we went to, you know, hunted there, didn't like, all done, and went, then moved on over to another place. Does that make sense? Mm hmm Okay. So... So yeah, I was, I was I was trying to really trying to pick in pick into this, but then I, I think I bit off more than I can chew, and I was looking at it and said, "Yep, yeah, I did. I bit off more than I can chew." I'll just I'll just start off with not not the sh, which which um baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> Do you know is there something like that when you're talking about like R, Nami? Uh huh. Like, is there a way to specify R including you versus R thing not including you? Like, out, like ours, but not yours? Yeah. Um, there is, actually. Ours, but not yours. Um... What would that be? I know that it's there's a, there is that it's it's ours but not yours. It's ours but not yours. It's oh God, what is it? Because we we used to say that a lot too growing up. We used to say it a lot. You know, with our you know just to just to pick on our cousins because um they would um. 
we would have to rub it, rub it in their faces that we got it and they didn't. It's like um, uh, they they we got away with we got away with um, not getting whipped. So that uh, you got whipped and we didn't. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that type of thing, you know. Um, what is that one? Uh, there is a word though. I'll get back to you on that. I will get back to you on that one. We'll use that for next week. But uh, yeah, I was trying that whole the whole this whole time I was trying to figure out which which one would be appropriate to you to go over and that you know it's always a basic it's always the simplest things to um to actually find out like oh yeah we this would actually be a lot easier to start 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 with you know, the not the sh like I keep on forgetting about it and it, it's a very important important st storytelling tool when you're referring to um it doesn't have it's not that be just you know one person nush you know, now you're talking about you and maybe you and a partner or you and your you and your bro you and your family you and someone else it's, it's us but not you now we did this All right when when a not the at the chushi at the chushiao We 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 and along and along the way we we went to you know um kutash we are winana uh, Multnomah Falls, y'all. Along because you know, we went we went to the we went to the um, ocean, but but and also along the way we went to to Multnomah Falls. You know, kind of going back a little bit. Kutash Wia Wia was uh, along the going along something like um, Wia Tima. Goes, goes, goes through. You no know, typing along, writing along your along the way. You no, know, that's the word for texting. You can walk and text. We at Dimasha texting. And uh, like uh, we are chut. That's a good one we use a lot. We are chut. Uh, drink for the road. You, know, you want to buy you know, like, like you stop at the gas station. You no, know, what kind of we are chut? You want a soda? Soda for the way. Or you know, want a coffee or something? You want a drink? You want a drink for the for the for the ride? Kanam we chut something you can drink along along the way. So so we are we are winna, you know, went along the way. So we are winana would be that went, and we went along. I can't remember the word for stop. I can't remember the way to say we. Um, Multnomah Falls, but we, along the way we're at uh, Multnomah Falls. They go on again, it goes go back again. Kutash, and then we, and we, you know, always end Kutash, Kutash. Or if you want to get, if you get tired of saying kutash and you say ku, then your action ku, winanatash, um, I don't know, Lloyd Center, yao, into Lloyd Center from there. Um, right, Lord, Lord, Lloyd Center, yao, Multnomah Falls, Kni. It's almost like you went, you went straight from Multnomah Falls to Lloyd Center, you know, no stops. How that works, the kni and yao, all that, how that, all that works, all puts all together.
like it's like uh, 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 Kutash Quatana Custed Quadat Pamayao Lincoln City Kne went to the restaurant from Lincoln City. That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to gather, put my thoughts, my own speaking thoughts in there. Um I know I tell a lot of a lot of people to just give it a shot, go for it. But then myself, I'm I'm the self-conscious one about speaking. Make sure I make sure I I gotta get it right before I do anything. Um Related to Yao and Kni, are there other things like those that go on the end of the word mean things like going by something? Or going past something, I should say. Yeah, is that Yao? Kan. Kni. Oops. Fine. Off. Um. To go past something. Oops. Like that's um those two pine and like are are pretty much similar. It's very similar in um in um you know definition. That they both mean um, along. Yeah, but uh. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything like that goes that you actually on the attachment the suffix that would go very uh, be really mean pass by something that uh, yao, you know, in using directionals, yao is um, straight A to B. Gun is toward something, you know, it's still to, to the place, but it's toward more of a, you know, you might make stops here, stops there, but you'll eventually make it to your destination. Kni is from. From a place, you can even say that you're from that place now. No, I'm from Nikhawi. Uh Pine. You know that again. That's also along. That's along something like my when 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 the shash when a pine. I'm going. I'm I'm going along the river. And pa, everyone, uh, pa is in, at, or on. And likul is also along, uh, by, or near. Same thing. So pine is really, pine and likul are pretty close in definition. Um, is there any difference between them? Could you say, winashash, wana likul? Yeah, I, I, my my understanding of likel would be like really really close to the river, like like um okay. like on the beach or something. You know, that that that's my that's my that's that that's my understanding. 
I would like it to be like more of the really the this dis, this distance wise would be like almost but that's just my understanding though of the word because um I had um I had a I had a grandpa he had the had the name Teacham Likel. You know, next, you know, along the, along the, along the, the land, along the ground. So, kind of like, okay, was he like face? Was he laying face first on the ground, or was he sitting on the ground, or was he close to a, close to a dirt pile, or, you know, what does that actually mean? Then he, then I think he had another one was uh, what tum like you know, along the lake. Next to the lake. And I think that's how, that's just my understanding. Maybe the distance on pine and lichen would be is what makes it make their differences. That pine is more um, because you know it's just you're along the river. You're not kind of like hugging the river. You just you know along, you know. Papuchni, one up pine, you know, along the river on both sides. Papuchni is on both sides. Whereas with Lycan, you are hugging the river. You yeah, Lycan, like you're like, okay. you're almost like lining the river. Now, Papuchni, one up Lycan, you know, now you're, you're on both sides, you're lined up, you're along the river. Because, yeah. um, how how what what um like how it was used a lot is that my dad's mom, you know, my Allah, um, Inez, Thomas's mom, her name was her name was Twawai. And there was another there's another lady from Goldendale. She also carried the name Twawai. So when they would um call that name or call him by the name, they'd say um, Twawai, one up pine. Twawai from the river. That's along the river. Now, Goldendale is closer to the river than here is. So that, that's how they would uh, refer that, one up pine from along the river. And it, it was funny, funny when they said that. It's like, well, I'm from the river too. You know, you know you've been told not we're no different from Rock Creeks. It was just yeah. a, a joke. Well, what would they say for Ines? Um, and when they call her up, they would say, um, Twawai Nikhiawe Kni. And that's how they would um, keep her, um, keep them different, separate. One up Ine and Nikhiawe Kni. Now, they're going to recall Ines, with, um, they would say, Twawai Nikhiawe Kni. Or they refer to Bernice Jim, they would call her uh, Twawai, one up pine. That's how, that's how they make the, the distinction of where they're from, the Kni and pine. And these are the, the directionals. You know. But yeah, to go past something though, I don't, I don't know what I would say. We went, we. We drove by it. We went by it. Likel is uh, is the word for buy something, you know. Like tuti tuti shash Jonathan, Jonathan. But they would say Jonathan Pine. That uh, that'd be the that'd be the more common way of saying that. That John John Likel would be another way of saying it, but it's not really used that much. Because it's it's in here by b y by Likel. long tent long tent mm. you just you can also just say cottonum cottonum yeah cottonum um uh tent um uh, you say Long, long tent. Um, wish, uh, cottonum wishaicht or nishaicht. It'd be a, like a long home. 
besides Okay. Um, we just, just we can just say also just um, um, tent um, or um, schoili. We were referring to like a um, teepee. Kadnam schoili. Long teepee. Kadnam schoili. But also that means that would also mean tall. So you gotta be. Um, really um, descriptive on your, you know, what you were talking about. But a lot of the terms that they've used, I remember hearing a lot is that when you refer to longhouse, it's said, uh, just call it cottonum. You know, like a uh, cottonum, topnish cottonum, sumnasho cottonum, one of them cottonum. We refer to uh, Sadis Cottonum, you know, the longhouse. We refer to that the long, the long, the long thing. Mm. Was that was that helpful? If I, if I find out anything else, I will let you know. If you come back next week, I will find out. And I will try to find out more information on that, what would we refer to a long tent. Yeah, we're we're putting them up today, so I just wanted to ask. Oh, are you guys? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, this um, you try cottonum soily or um, soily. I know they're gonna be wondering where I'm at, but I can. They can wait. They make me wait a lot. But um, I mean, there's a word. There is there is a word for um, for it. Um, let's see. Um, you can say um, Qualk 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 Swaley Qualk Yeah, Qualk Swaley Swaley Yes, hello Yes, yes, I'm just finishing up my Zoom class right now. I should be over there in a, in a bit. I'll be walking over that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. So, yeah, Qualk. You can use that one. Could use, I would say use that one. Qualk. Qualk. Qualk, soily. Or you can say qualk neat. Right, those are the two terms you can use for that. Okay. All right. <laughs>